Hello everyone, KJ4YZI. Thanks for tuning back in. You're watching Ham Radio Concepts. And so I've had this ID52 handheld from ICOM. I've had this for about a month and a half now. I purchased it at Gigaparts. But before I did, I played with it at Ham Radio Outlet in Orlando. I played with it with Ray Novak in Huntsville, Alabama at the Huntsville Ham Fest. I knew what I wanted. I knew why I wanted it. So I sold my D74 Kenwood. I bought this. Now, for the last month and a half, I've been very impressed with this. But this is a mode I want to show you about now, about the picture messaging. Think about this, guys. You can send a picture over D-Star from something like an ID52 to another handheld with an ID52, or in my case, for testing demonstration purposes, I'm going to send a picture from my ID52 to my ICOM 705 on D-Star mode. And that's pretty cool, because a lot of people poo-poo on this. They say, well, that's stupid. I can send a picture from my cell phone. Ham radio is stupid. Well, can you do that when there's a hurricane and there's no cell phone towers? No. But I could take, you know, a, a handheld like this or a radio like this and send pictures back and forth. It's just fun. It doesn't have to be zombie apocalypse. But, you know, I think this is very valuable for like Skywarn kind of stuff. Let's say you're out in the, the middle Midwest or the plains of Colorado or wherever. And there's a huge shelf cloud, a beautiful picture, and you want to send it to your friends. You can send it over a repeater on D-Star, and everybody who's listening who has a capable radio can receive that picture as you're talking to them at the same time. Or you can send it over a hotspot on different reflectors or whatever. You know, I wouldn't tie up a whole reflector sending pictures, but you can also send it simplex. So the ICOM 9700, I missed that radio terribly. I want it so bad. I sold it to get this house. That radio functions just like these. So someone at home with an uh, ICOM, 70, uh, an ICOM 9700 on D-Star, UHF or VHF or 1.2 gig, can send pictures just like this handheld or this ICOM 705. So I'm going to show you real quick some of the app features and how to send this picture real quick on Ham Radio Concepts. So one cool thing that Gigaparts had sent me about three weeks ago was this little ICOM 705 wedge stand. Now. Over there behind the camera where you can't see it, my 3D printer, I did actually print a couple of models that I found online of an ICOM 705 cage that goes around it. But sometimes, and, and the reason I'm putting this in the video because I haven't even opened the package yet. So this looks like it's 3D printed as well. It does say gigaparts on it. And it's got a screw on here. Wow, they even 3D printed the screw? You gotta be kidding me. Look at this. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. Okay, so in this video, <laughs> you're seeing the ICOM 705 on the Gigaparts little wedge stand. I'll try to find the link for that, put it in the description if they're selling them. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get a close-up of the app first because you're going to want to download the ICOM app uh, for Android or iPhone. I recently made the switch back to, uh, well, to a Google phone, the Pixel, and it does work on here. It did work on my Apple uh, iPhone 7, and I'm pretty sure it'll work on an iPad as well. So let me zoom into the phone, and someone's calling me. See, people are calling me. Anyways, let's take a look at the phone and show you the, the setup of what you're gonna do here. Okay, on the ID52, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go into menu, and you wanna go to the icon that says set here. And when you're in set on the last page, right, scroll all the way down, last page is Bluetooth set. Oh, Bluetooth set. Now you want to go up here to Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on. Now, there's something to say about this. You don't want to connect your phone in the Bluetooth settings to this device. I did that and it made it hard because the app couldn't override the connection between this and your phone. So you want to connect this through the app, and the app will ask you what kind of radio is it on Bluetooth, let's connect. So I'm going to show you it right now. So as long as Bluetooth is on, okay, the app you want to download in the Play Store on Google or Apple is going to be the RSMS1A ICOM app, okay? Now it'll ask you right here, what is the transceiver? We're going to do ID52 on Bluetooth, okay? Hit OK. Now, there's the paired device list because I've already done it. So we're going to hit ICOM Bluetooth. There it is. Right now, it just said on the screen, Pixel Connected. And you can see that I have, it already populated 
use Reflector and Vero Beach. I know it's reading my radio. I know it's connected. There is sometimes a little bit of a struggle because if you have prog- if you've paired this in Bluetooth settings on your phone first, you're going to have to forget the device, delete it, turn Bluetooth off, reset your phone, turn this off, reinitialize Bluetooth, and then do it through the app. That's the easiest way. Now that I have the app on here, if you click on the top left here, You'll have all kinds of features. We're going to go into features on another uh, video because there's some cool things you can do in here. But I'm going to go to picture messaging, share pictures. Right there, I'm in share picture mode. And on the ID52, if you go into menu and you go to picture mode right here, okay, you'll see a receive and a transmit box on here. And the same thing on the app here. You'll see a... Um, a receiver, okay, right here, receive and transmit history, okay? Now, well, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, over here, I have my 705. Let's see if I can get this in the screen here, okay? Now, and there's my 52, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture. I don't know what I'm going to take a picture on, okay? Um, wow. Um, I'll take a picture of this on my desk. This was sent to me by Dr. Jack, who is the creator of Compact Tenna. And um, actually, he's going to be on the podcast, so you want to check that out soon. I'm just going to grab something and take a picture of it with a selfie like this. Here we go. Thank you, Dr. Jack, for sending me this. Hand Radio Concepts, masterful, enlightening. Thank you, Eric, Dr. Jack. That is pretty cool. That's a glass uh, thing here. So now I'm going to go back to the app here because assuming you have a bunch of pictures that you want to send or a picture or whatever. Okay, so watch this. We go on the app, all right? We're going to go to touch for one second the selected picture. We're going to select it out of gallery. And here it is. There's the picture I want to send. Okay, I just took that. Now I'm going to hit done. Now it's going to compress it a little bit, but here's the here's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna see the difference in time between low quality, medium, and high, and the picture size. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do high quality at 640, 640 by 480. So that should be the, the largest I could send this picture. All right. Now look at this. You can see it broke up the picture into individual pixels, like little tiny squares, let's call it. Okay, <clears throat> now. I'm going to set the radio, I'm going to take it out of, uh, let's see, I don't want to send it over a repeater. Um, let's take this out of DR mode. Let's uh, go to main, okay. We're going to do this on 146.55. Now, I don't have an antenna on this, and transmitting on here is a simplex frequency. I will ask if the frequency has been used, it is in use, but I'm going to, I'm going to tell you right now. Nobody's going to hear this inside my block house here on Simplex, but we're going to do it officially. Okay, we're going to set this to DV mode. And this is in DV mode. This is KJ4. YZI is the frequency in use. Okay, I know nobody's going to hear this, but I'm just going to do it so that the haters don't comment. Okay, this is KJ4 YZI on DSTAR. I'm going to send a picture for testing. Okay. Here we go. Now what you're going to see is the screen on my radio, if I can get this in here. All right. Now watch. I'm going to hit start transmitting. It's going to transmit pop up on here. You ready? One, two. It's actually messing up my uh, computer speakers here. So it's transmitting. Now look at the screen over here. Okay. You can see on the app, the little red cursor is sending each pixel. What it does is use error correction and transmitting and saying, hey, here's this pixel. I'm sending it. Good. It's received. Next. And it's doing that a lot faster. Okay. And on the receiving side, you can see that it's receiving over here, pixel by pixel, line by line. All right. So I didn't start a timer, but I'm going to say that was what, 30 seconds already? So how long would it take 
to receive a picture going from this handheld to this radio. Now, I will tell you that you need to have a memory card in the 52 and in the 705. It's got to have a place to store it. It's not going to store it on the uh, built-in memory of the radio. There's not enough memory for that. So let's call it a minute. I think that was about a minute. It's still sending. If I can zoom in a little bit. All right. Now the quality of that picture is pretty cool. Yes, it's going to compress it a little bit. Yes, it's going to degrade the quality, but you're not using this for, you know, anything on your, you know, that would require a 4K high, ultra high definition picture. You know, it's just for fun. It's something that Icon thought about and did this and to utilize a D-Star mode that I think is very brilliant. Now, while this is finishing, over the, the years that I had System Fusion, System Fusion can do pictures too. Problem is, nobody wants to buy the $139 camera mic and you can't do it over hot spots. You have to do it over a Fusion capable repeater. A lot of people don't have fusion capable repeators. This will work, you know, a multitude of ways. And I think um, being as native in a device without having to buy an external camera mic is really cool. So it's almost done. We're drawing, let's see, how many lines are left? Yeah, see, I'm on the second to last line. There's the you know, second to last line there, and here comes the last line. Now watch. There it is, okay? All right, there's the picture. Now you can tap on this. Look, <laughs> from KJ4YZI, that is 640 by 480 high quality uh, at 1928 UTC, or yeah, that should be set from my GPS in the radio here. Not a bad looking picture. I mean, that's pretty high quality. Uh, if, if, you, if you need a better, here. Maybe, there you go. Let's see it on there. There you go. Not a bad quality of picture. Over RF on D-Star. From the ID52 to the ICOM 705. All right. Now here's what we're going to do. I like this little Gigapart stand. That makes it a lot easier to use. So thanks thanks for Gigaparts for just sending that as a little present. They always send me little knickknacks and presents and stuff. That's pretty cool. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send the same picture but in low quality. Now, if you were on the receiving end, and this is what you saw, you can click here. And if you had pictures in your memory card, you could select the picture, select the size, the receiver, uh, the picture quality, and then you can send it back to who sent it to you, okay? Picture transmit. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go back into the app. Picture transmission has been completed. Okay, now I'm going to do the same one and I'm going to pick, no, I need to stop that. Okay, let's go to send. We're going to hold this. We're going to choose a picture. I'm going to send one of, here. I took a picture of Michelle's daughter last night. She'd be happy to be in the video. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to pick the lowest quality. We're going to see the difference in time. We're going to go low quality, 160 by 120. Now that looks a little grainy. That is pretty grainy. But look at the size of the pixels here, right? So they get a lot bigger and it's going to have less of a quality. Let's see how long it takes to down, to send to here. Ready? One, two, three. That was less than 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds to send that. Now, if you looked at this, that's about, eh, not the best quality, but you can see it, okay? Not the best quality. So let's do this. Let's go choose a picture. And I'm going to choose what would I choose on her? Here. Here's me and her mom. I made her some mussels and scallops over linguine. I'm going to choose this one. 
What do you see on the 52 when this happens? Well, <clears throat> you don't see anything on here unless you're receiving a picture on the here. But right here, we're going to do standard 50%, but we're going to do the largest picture size at 50% quality. Ready? One, two, three. And you can see it's receiving the picture now. So, again, look on here. See the little red dash going? That's sending block by block. So the quality is only 50%, but the size is as big as what I sent um, the first time. So let's talk about something here while this is going. What do you think about, you know, someone may say, well, it's going to reduce the battery life. That's a full duty cycle here. It's transmitting. Uh, actually, I'm transmitting on five watts right now. I probably shouldn't need to being right next to the radio here. Uh, I should only have to, you know, transmit right here next to it at 10 milliwatts or 100 milliwatts. But that's okay. Um, I know that I've done this in the past with my ID5100. And when I did that, uh, the error correction is really good. I, didn't, I don't remember ever seeing a bad pixel. So if it drops out, it'll stop and it'll only send the pixels as they're confirmed that it was successfully completed. Meaning it's not gonna blank out half of the picture like slow scan TV would do on HF. From my you know, knowledge, I haven't uh, done this anybody since I've had this radio over a repeater yet. But uh, not a lot of people in my area have the 52. Uh, a lot of them have the 705. So I might try this picture sending with uh, my radio to a 705 if someone's listening on VHF over a repeater. And, um, you know, make sure that, you know, it is what it is. But so far, if you look at the picture quality, it's still building. Check it out. That was the mussels and the scallops over in Linguini that I made. So you can see, even though the quality is 50%, not 75, it's still taken uh, several minutes to send this, okay? Now, if you were talking while you were sending this, the data rate will go down. It'll take you a little longer because it's using some of the data for your voice and some for the picture. If there's no talking, you're just sending a picture, then it's using the full DV fast data for this. But... If I were transmitting right now, I could key up and say, hey, uh, John, Cam 4 MCK, did you get that? Is the picture coming through okay? And it'll slow down the picture rate, but it'll let me talk at the same time. Okay? Pretty cool stuff, man. Okay, and there it goes. There is the picture. The app says completed successfully, and there you have it. That is just a demo, okay? Again, there's no cables here. This is happening over RF. It is happening on my desk here in front of the camera, but this can happen across the world over D-Star. If you meet friends or have family over in Europe or Germany or South Africa or Australia, man, you can send pictures. And that's the coolest thing about having a handheld that has that capability. Not everybody wants or can afford a 705 um, and not everybody needs a 705. Maybe they just want this. The picture messaging does exist. So that is pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys that. And there's uh, stay tuned. There's more videos on the way. And thanks to my sponsors at Ham Radio Prep for uh, giving me the opportunity to make videos like this and help out their sponsorship. Use the code ERIC20. Save 20% on any course you buy at hamradioprep.com. Get a ham license as a technician class. You can do this with an ID52 or an ICOM705 as a technician class operator. You don't have to be a general or extra. Get your ticket, get your license. HamRadioPrep.com is the easiest way to get your tech. Use the code ERIC20, save 20%. Thanks, everybody. More videos are on the way. 73KJ4YZI.